TRX, we start with one hour chart. Just I want to give a quick update. First of all, if you refer to my last analysis, since the price was within this down move, we mentioned if you get any opportunity for buy, any trade setup, we will take it. Because if you refer to the indicators, based on one hour chart, we had a divergence and even based on four chart. And this is what we get. That's why I always keep highlighting. If we get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. And we have been looking for 0 0.09 as a first target. Zero, following by 0 0.092, following by 0 0.0945. The price almost break the first two level, almost near to the 0 0.0945. Now, if the traders, they get any trade within this range. If they want to take out the trade in the profit, they can. But if they want to keep the trade, at least move their stop loss to break even. No one see what's the next. If we move to daily chart, we have been looking for the reversal. We don't have anything else to discuss. The only thing says we want to see whether we can look for continuation or not. And if we move to forward chart, again, if we refer to the indicators, if we put this low relative to the previous one, if we refer to the indicators, we had a divergence. That's why I always keep highlighting, if we get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. No one see what's the next. And the levels we were expected, the price almost tag. No one see what's the next. If I remove everything. So whether we can look for continuation or we can expect this one to a bigger correction for one more drop. This is where this is where we need to be quite careful. For sure, we are more interested to look for continuation and we don't want to see one more drop. All right. But from now, if you want to get any trade for buy, we need to be quite careful as long as the price haven't break 0 0.1. That's mean if we get any trade for buy within this range from now, we need to be to know about the second possibility that made this one turn to a flat as a one, two, three, four, one more drop. Because based on daily chart, we didn't get the divergence, right? That's mean, again, any trade within this range, as long as the price haven't break the previous top, we need to be quite careful, right? Then if we move to forward chart, I mean, based on forward chart, we don't see any trade setup for buy. We need to get the correction. Simply, we cannot buy. And even if we move to one hour chart for those traders, they get the trade at least move their stop loss to break even or book some profit. And if he wants to look for the next trade, if I remove everything, so at least we need to get a flag or correction before we take the next trade. And even we need to see the breakout of the previous, which is 0 0.094, all right? If there is a breakout, the next level is somewhere around 0 0.1. Any trade within this one, we consider as a short-term trade if he wants to look for buy. What I mean by short-term, as long as we get into the profit, we move our stop loss to break even. If it's not moving in our direction, we take out the trade, all right? And whether we should look for sell or not, the only times you can look for sell if we see the, the price drop flowing by flag or correction, this is where we can take the sell because we know about this possibility as well, or at least similar to what we get here, all right? Anyway, still we're looking for continuation. The only thing is if anyone wants to look for the next trade setup, at least wait for the flag or correction another few hours before we take the next trade. And for those traders, they get the trade within this. And again, move their stop loss to break even or book some profit. It depends where they get the trade. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.